Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today is Disney Day 2. We are off, headed to Epcot. Um, got up this morning at 7 and got a Lightning Lane Pass this evening uh, around 6.15 for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. So excited to check out that new ride. Um, also got a Genie Plus reservation for Soren this morning about 9.45. So gonna head out now, grab some breakfast, head over to the park, and we will see what we get into. And just like that, we are in. We have made it to Epcot for Disney Day 2. Um, now, I do have my Genie Plus reservation for 945 at Soren. So, gonna start slowly heading over that way. Um, gonna stop and check out the wait time for Spaceship Earth, see what it looks like. Um, I do see Goofy and Pluto over here. So, let's go see if we can say hi and good morning to those guys to get our day kicked off here at Epcot. Yeah, Pluto out this morning. Let's go, let's go. Everyone wants to say hi to them this morning, so. We got Goofy over here. Good morning, Goofy. Good morning, Pluto. Have a great day, boys. All right, just got off of Spaceship Earth. It was about a 10 minute wait, um, but really never stopped moving in that line. So, super fun, love that ride. Um, walked back up to the front, because I realized I forgot to grab my Flower and Garden Passport booklet. So ran back up and grabbed that, trying not to run into people again. Um, it is super windy this morning. Like, I'm afraid my hat's going to fly off my head. But I am now making my way over to Soren to use my 945 Genie Plus reservation. So, gonna head that way now. We'll see you guys after. Okay, so just uh, used my Soren Genie Plus reservation. Also, walked over to get on Living with the Land. Wait was about 25 minutes. Um, but the time I got there, it was 10.28, and I checked there was a Genie Plus reservation for 10.30. So, went ahead and made that. Didn't have to wait in the line. Um, so, Doing good so far, three rides down, more to go. Gonna make my way over to Test Track now, see if single rider line is open and hop in that line. Um, typically, single rider goes by quicker than the normal standby, um, so we will see what that situation is. Um, I was gonna show, there are so many walls up right now. All around the park. Um, all good signs of new things coming, but it is making it kind of hard to navigate the park. Um, the typical cut through right through the center from Soren to Test Track is now blocked off because of this construction. So you kind of have to go back towards the front of the park, down around Spaceship Earth to get back to that side of the park. So that's where I'm headed now. There's Spaceship Earth with a nice crane in front of her. Um, but making my way over to Test Track now, and we will see what the situation looks like over there. All right, so I stopped off at the Sunshine Griddle on my way to Test Track because I got hungry. Um, got the Fruit Loop Shake, which I've had before, and it's delicious. Wow, hopefully you can Got the fried cinnamon roll bites, which I've also had before. Um, they're filled with a like cinnamon cream cheese glaze topped with the cream cheese frosting and bacon bits. And then got the avocado toast to try, which I have not tried before. I'm gonna be honest, probably gonna pick all this stuff off. I'll leave the tomatoes on. Um, but gonna give this a try and I will let you know what I think. All right, so after having tried everything, um, avocado toast, really delicious. Definitely would get this again. Cinnamon roll bites, I've had them before. They're really good. 
but they're super sweet and super messy as you can see when I took a bite it like spewed out of the center and got all over my face so good but probably better to share and make sure you have napkins and then fruit loop shake is also really delicious definitely would get again so overall success from the sunshine griddle located over near test track all right just got done with test track there it goes right behind me um did hop in the single rider line there and only had to wait about 20 minutes or so uh before i got on the ride there it goes again so single rider, definitely a way to go, definitely a way to do it if you are able. Um, now I am going to make my way back to the World Showcase, start working through the countries back there. I'm going to check out some festival booths and food that are specific for Flower and Garden. And going to take a look at the topiaries. Um, Probably will hop on three caballeros when I get to Mexico. Um, we will see what other good stuff we can find to do back there. Okay, was walking in one of the shops to ask a question about a scavenger hunt around the world showcase, but look who I found. The mouse. Mini. Oh, and people just walk right in front of you, and there's characters. Hi, Mini. Looking great. She's playing Peekaboo. How cute. All right. So as I was making my way into World Showcase, um, I stopped at one of the stores right at the entrance to get the um, maps for the scavenger hunts. So. I got the spike. Um, so what we have to do is walk around the World Showcase, look for Spike the Bee, and then place the stickers when we find him. Um, but because it is also almost Easter, they're doing a specialty Easter one, so stopped and got that one as well. Place the Easter egg stickers when you find them. Um, now, normally, I think you would wait till you finished to return your maps and get your surprise. Um, but the girl asked if I wanted to do it now or later. Um, so I just went ahead, grabbed my surprises now. Um, so for the spike one, I got this Mickey Bento box. And, oh, it's so windy today. For the egg extravaganza one. I got this orange bird tumbler. So essentially it was ten dollars um, for each map, so twenty dollars in total. Um, essentially you're paying ten dollars for a tumbler and a bento box, but it's also a fun experience. Um, so as we work our way through the roll showcase, we're gonna be looking for those things as well. <laughs> Y amigos, no matter where he goes, the one, two, and three goes, we are always together. We sing that we samba, we can That means I can amba. Okay, I just left the Mexico Pavilion. I did um, the three caballeros ride. Um, I searched really hard for the egg and the spike, the bee, and literally could not find them anywhere in Mexico. Um, I'll go back and look again later, but try one was not successful. I'm gonna move over here because people just decided to stand at that table. Um, hoping I can find those things in Norway. Um, if you hear music in the background, the mariachi band is out playing in Mexico right now. Um, but yeah, still on the hunt for my first egg and my first spike the bee. Um, I did stop and say hi and take a picture with 
Mexican Donald, um, he was out meeting and greeting people just outside of the Mexico Pavilion. Um, still socially distanced meet and greets right now, but we know that by Easter, you will be able to hug the characters. So that is coming soon if that is something you enjoy doing um, when you are in the Disney parks. Um, gonna walk over and see what the line for Frozen looks like. Um, last I checked, it was about an 80 minute wait, which really isn't too, too bad for that ride. So may just go ahead and hop in line um, and get on that ride. Uh, but we will see what the line looks like and if we can find that egg and spike the bee along the way. Okay, so just stopped off at Germany, grabbed the toasted pretzel bread to try. Uh, wouldn't suggest it, wasn't very good. Definitely wouldn't get it again. Um, kind of tasted stale almost. Um, so a little disappointed there, but no worries. That's what the festivals are for, is to try stuff. Um, this lady, I'm trying to block her head. Um, I think my plan is I'm gonna make one loop around the World Showcase for food, um, try food from the different booths that I want to try, and then probably make a second loop around the World Showcase to hunt for those Easter eggs. I finally found my first one in Germany. It was Pluto. It was pretty obvious. I thought all of them were gonna be like that, but uh, apparently that's not the case. Um, so, working my way through my first loop for food, will work my way through my second loop for the scavenger hunt, um, and anything else I might have forgotten on the first time around. Um, I did not end up stopping for Frozen this time. The wait was at 115 minutes. Um, so did not feel like standing in that line to wait. But all good, hoping it will be a little lower, my second lap through. Um, but I am gonna keep moving and I will update you when I make my next stop. So I stopped off in Morocco and got a drink, got the pomegranate hard cider, got the six ounces, which was $5. Um, there was also a 12 ounce option for $9, but I just didn't feel like I wanted that much to drink, just wanted to give it a try. Um, it is really good. Definitely would get it again, definitely would recommend. Um, but I am a hard cider person that if I'm going to drink something, that is what I choose to drink. Um, so, if you are not a hard cider person, probably won't enjoy this beverage, but for me, really good, really delicious. Um, I did want to show you, I finally found my first spike for the scavenger hunt right over here. So that is what we are looking for. I just have been unsuccessful in finding them so far. Um, hopefully on my second lap around, I will be able to find more. Um, gonna keep moving, keep eating, um, and I will check in with you later. Okay, so I have completed my first loop around World Showcase. Um, made one last stop in the UK for some fish and chips. Um, going back up now to Club Cool, because I totally forgot about it earlier, totally forgot it was reopened in a new location. So, gonna walk up here, see what it looks like now, see where its new location is, um, and try some drinks from the different countries around the world. So, I will show you that when I get there. So Club Cool is now, this is the new creation shop, um, which took the place of Mouse Gear, and Club Cool is just outside to the left of it. So, here we go, headed on in. Oh, it feels so good in here. Okay, so in here, all of them are lined up against one wall. In the old Club Cool, there were pillars in the middle of the floor. Um, that had the beverages. Looks like there are lines to try, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in this line and give some a try. All right, so Beverly, I'm not gonna say anything, but I will not be drinking that. This one's pineapple, which I can't have. This one also 
seems like it's probably pineapple, which I can't have. This one, too sweet. This one's delicious. This is absolutely disgusting. It tasted like bacon. Um, not drinking that. And that one was okay. But watermelon, definitely the best one. All right, so I am working my way through, sorry, there's a boat if it's super loud. I'm um, working my way for my second loop right now around the world showcase. Um, working on both of the scavenger hunts. Um, finally starting to find some things. Um, the eggs are still super hard to find. I have missed one, two, three, four as of right now. Um, the spikes are a little bit easier to find because it tells you which garden to look for them in. Um, so that definitely helps, but working my way through that, um, I have just under an hour until my Lightning Lane reservation for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure opens. So i um, going to keep moving my way through the World Showcase and then turn around and come back. Um, I am in France right now and wanted to show you all both the Skyliner and the walkway that connects Epcot to uh, boardwalk as well as the yacht and beach clubs. So let me turn you around here Okay, so first um, Is the walkway zoom in here So this is walkway here that comes this way all the way down to This green tent that is the check-in point for guests staying at the yacht and beach club as well as boardwalk but also for the guests who are utilizing the skyliner um now i am personally not a fan of the skyliner it swayed way too much for me uh stopped way too often for my liking um didn't have a great experience with the skyliner the first time i used it so if i can find a way to not use the skyliner that is what i'm going to do now the skyliner does um, connect to Riviera that is the hub from there you can get on a Skyliner either here to Epcot over to Hollywood Studios or over to Pop Century and Art of Animation um, they share a Skyliner station um, and if you are staying at a resort that is um, on the Skyliner path that is your way to get to that park. So for instance, um, last time I was here, stayed at Pop Century. The only way that I could get here to Epcot was the Skyliner. There are no buses. Um, so it kind of stinks for people like me who don't really care for the Skyliner, um, as your only other option really is either to drive yourself or take an Uber or a Lyft to the park. Um, but did want to come over here, show you the Skyliner, show you that walkway. Um, this boat as well, it connects to the same as the Pathway, Boardwalk, Yacht, and Beach Club. Um, it also takes you to Swan and Dolphin. Um, but wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what and all has happened over here, just outside of the France Pavilion. Dia. Alright, so you have an idea of the eggs. This is what they look like. Not sure if my shadow helps her. It helps. There we go. Um, so bigger than like a real egg, but not gigantic. Um, this is the one found in Canada. So once you do, once you find an egg, um, on the back of the sheet is stickers. And so you match the stickers to the country which you found that egg. All right, so this is what the completed map looks like. This is after two laps, one lap of not really looking. Um, the second lap, be the purpose being to look for them. Um, I missed one, two, three, four, five. Um, looked really hard, could not find them anywhere. Um, and then on this one, again, same thing. I will say these bottom three, I haven't really walked past. Um, they're kind of out of the way. This one was a lot easier than the eggs um, because like you can see, 
it tells you where to go to find them. Um, and then, so once you have finished, and you don't even need to finish, you just go back to where you purchased it, and they will give you your surprise. Now, the girl who rung me out, um, stamped both of them off and gave me my prizes before I had even started so I don't have to go back anywhere I'll just put these in my backpack and we'll have them as a souvenir um, it actually ended up being a lot harder than I thought it was going to be um, I mean given that it's geared kind of towards kids I thought it would be pretty easy and pretty obvious to find them but the eggs especially are super duper hard to find um, and I had a really hard time finding them but overall this was super fun this would be a great thing to do if you were a kid it would give you something fun to look for in each of the different countries um, so I definitely would recommend doing this if you have kids even if you don't have kids give it a shot um, 10 bucks for basically the sheet and the stickers and the fun surprise you get at the end. All right, so my plan now that I have finished my second full lap around the world showcase is to slowly start heading back over to France, get on Remy's because my Genie Plus reservation starts in just about 15 minutes. So by the time I get back over there, it should be good timing, good time to get on the ride. Um, and then we will see what happens after that. Um, the park is open until 9 p.m. tonight, um, and that is when they are doing Harmonious. Um, definitely want to stick around to see that, because I have not seen it yet. Um, so I will probably try to get off of Remy's and start making my way back over to Mexico to get a seat for the fireworks. Um, in the past, that was a good viewing spot and it also puts you close to the exit of World Showcase so that you are close to the exit of the park because the park will be closed once the show is over and you will have to leave. So that is the plan right now um, and I will check back in after I do Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. All right, so I have found myself a seat for Harmonious. Um, I am pretty early, way early, but wanted to have a good spot and didn't have anything else that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna hang out here, watch the show, and that will be the end of my day. Um, I will show you my spot. This is gonna be my view, so not too shabby, can't complain. Excited to see the show for the first time. All around us, the world is alive with music. Voices calling out in search of one another. We find each other in song.
And just like that, our day at Epcot is over. I was going to try to film this outro in the park as I was leaving, but because I stayed for fireworks, um, everyone and their mom and their grandma were all leaving at the same time. Um, didn't really have a good chance to stop and pull over anywhere. Um, just kept on moving out of the park, got right on the first bus and back to the hotel room. Um, it was a super fun day at Epcot. Harmonious was absolutely incredible. Um, in my opinion, it is so, so, so much better than um, what they had there originally, which was Illuminations. Um, for me, Harmonious totally blew that out of the water. Um, I think it's even moved into my second favorite nighttime show, right behind Fantasmic. Um, Fantasmic will always have a special place in my heart, will always be number one. But Harmonious is now become a very close second. Um, it was absolutely incredible. Tomorrow is a Disney Springs day. Um, so lots of shopping. Um, my plan is not to bring you guys along for that. Um, I want to go and just shop and not have to worry about trying to film anything. But I do plan on doing a resort tour when I get back. So that is what next week's video will be all about. So um, with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on that bell so you are notified every time I post. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite things to do are at Epcot. Um, and if you've seen Harmonious, what are your thoughts and opinions about it? Um, let me know down below. Make sure you hit that like button, um, continue sharing, Thank you to those of you who are subscribed and who are commenting and liking and sharing. It really means a lot. Um, and with that, I will see you guys next week on The Corner. Peace.